Okay, so today we're talking about the chain rule. And uh, this one's a little bit more complex. Uh, it requires you to use the quotient rule as well. So remember for the chain rule, the first thing we're going to do is we need to find the derivative of this. So to do that, you're going to get your f, which is just going to be x squared plus 1, and then you're going to get f prime, which is just going to be 2x. And then you're going to get your g, which is going to be x squared minus 1, and then g prime, which is also going to be 2x. So we cross multiply, and that's going to be your first step. So you're going to get 2x cubed minus 2x. And then the second step is you're going to multiply f times g prime. So that's your second step. So you're going to get, now remember for the quotient rule, uh, you're going to subtract this. Okay? So you're going to subtract it. So it's going to be 2x cubed plus 2x. Now we're going to rewrite this and it's going to look like this. 2x cubed minus 2x and so that's going to be minus minus 2x cubed and this is also going to be minus minus 2x and so that's going to give you so this is going to cancel out and the only thing you're going to be left with is negative 4x. So now we've got negative 4x. Now remember, when you do this, all of this is going to be under x squared minus 1 squared. So this is what it's going to look like as of right now. Negative 4x over x squared minus 1 squared. Okay, now, now what you have to do is we're going to multiply it by the exponent. So it's going to be multiplied by 3 times. x squared plus 1 over x squared minus 1 and remember you're going to drop that number so 3 minus 1 is 2 so that's going to become 2. Now if you wanted to simplify this what it's going to look like is negative 12x is 3 times negative 4 over x squared minus 1 squared times x squared plus 1 and that's squared because of right here over x squared minus 1 squared okay so sorry about that this is actually the same thing 
as this. Okay? It's just been rewritten. So that x squared plus 1 squared over x squared minus 1 squared, it's the same thing. And the reason why we did that is because we want to simplify this. And you're going to simplify this bottom part, and so the bottom part is going to read x squared minus 1 to the fourth power. And the reason why that is, because these exponents, when they're multiplied, you just add them. So 2 plus 2 equals 4 to the 4th power. And then you can uh, convert this so it reads negative 12x times this right here. x squared plus 1 squared. And that is your final answer.